few people have tried it, nobody has ever managed to get anywhere close to what we got like today. You have to believe you can do these things. It's not like impossible. There's been a few people that have been like sort of following us. It's me, my boots and I, we're gonna make it. I definitely think it's gonna be the next big thing. Yeah, liquid mountaineering is actually a uh, oof's brainchild. It's a new sport. It was not existing before. You have to run very fast on the water. I mean, obviously, the first step is the most important one. When we like discovered, oh my God, Jesus, we're going one step, we're going two steps, we're going three steps. We're discovering it as we go along. While we're still on land, we try to get up really speed. Soon we, we touch the water, we try to get like, like a sewing machine. It's not straight into the water, you know. In a curve, in a slight curve. And by that bend, you're actually not allowing yourself to sink into the water and you want to keep that skimming sensation going as long as you can. Bonjour. What gets us those extra steps are these shoes. The, the original equipment where it first all started was the equipment that would help repel water. We found some shoes by mistake actually. Totally water repellent. It's like water off a duck's back. It takes actually a lot of practice, a lot of focus. I think if you don't actually believe that you're going to walk on that water, it's not going to happen for you. working on a jet ski system, obviously that pulls us into the water with a bit more speed. Be with yourself, believe in it. It's not about the miracle, it's just go for it. Try to do it, if you fall down, Try again. People want you to think in a certain way and, and, and this sport actually allows you to push your horizons further. It's just, it's not boxing you in and saying that's what you are. You're just like, you're moving past it all.